Hello, John Gabay here, and in this segment of Improvised Engineering, we're going to learn how to make a coil winder with an accumulator that counts how many wines you've made. This is useful for making inductors and for transformers and a variety of different applications. Component manufacturers do a pretty good job of providing off-the-shelf standardized components. These can be inductors as well as transformers. But when you're doing real science, you may need to roll your own. And that's where a coil winding machine comes in handy. The block diagram looks like this. We take a power supply, in this case a wall wart, putting out 15 volts DC and we use a 7812 to create 12 volts for our foot switch that goes into our speed controller which is an LM317T adjustable voltage regulator and we control our direction with a double pole triple throw switch. Center is off, left is one direction, right is the other direction. We're using a 12 volt motor from wherever we are able to find our 12 volt motor in our junk box. And we are creating a winding wheel which is attached to the shaft of the motor which will spin when we control our foot switch and our speed and our direction. There's a feed roll which, which feeds our wire into the winding coil and there is, I will show you this in physical form, a timing wheel which uses a photo diode and a photo transistor to create a pulse which goes through an opto isolator to control the equal sign of our calculator. The little trick with a calculator if you hit one plus one, every time you hit equals, it'll increment. Now we are ready to wind. Notice I've used bull nose washers to secure the take up reel and a roller skate bearing to help the take up reel spin smoothly. I've set up the calculator with one plus one equals and we are ready to wind. We just did 10 winds of the coil. Now notice I could have a second feed roll here and be winding them simultaneously and be making a transformer.